So of course we have big plans for this house, but unfortunately our budget is not so big right now. So we've broken everything down into phase one projects and phase two. Phase one projects are what we realistically can do right now without spending a lot of money. And when I say not spending a lot of money, I don't mean like Martha Stewart not spending a lot of money. I mean like us, like under $500, what can we do? Or can we go into the garage and find wood and drywall and something in there to do a project here without dipping into our savings or anything? That's phase one. Phase two projects are sort of the nirvana if we come up with some kind of crazy Ponzi scheme or rob a bank or come into millions of dollars. So in other words, phase two isn't terribly realistic right now. But the first thing we did is head out and we bought one of these sassy little black books to make our list. So our list here, um, Botox and Lipo, well that's the wrong list. The other list for our phase one here, Paul needs to get a job, well we'll work on that later. But phase one we want to focus on the room we use most often, which is probably the case with most people, our kitchen. Now, we have an outdoor kitchen, but in the winter when it's below zero, um, the pipes freeze and it's freezing out there. So we don't use it as often as we do in the summer. So we then move in here to the indoor kitchen, which is fine, but it's small. And Joe cooks basically every night of the week. And we hang out in there like everybody does. Now, the Nirvana plan, the phase two plan, is to knock down the wall. Our kitchen is behind that cabinet, and this is our entryway. So the dream kitchen is to knock down the wall between those two rooms, make a big, beautiful kitchen, and turn the porch out here into an entryway, and then direct people into the living room. That's the big picture plan. But phase one, where we you know, return cans and use that money to renovate our kitchen, would start here. This was cut, this passageway from the kitchen into the dining area. I would like to fill this up, and chances are we probably have wood in the barn or the garage to do this, and um, we can do it with plywood and drywall, and that probably, even if we don't have it, it probably would cost under $100. But in sealing that up, we then create a space in here in our living room because when they opened up this side of the house, the original owners, they created kind of a big space that's sort of hard to define. So, in our big picture phase two plan of the kitchen, we plan on sealing that up anyway. So I thought right now we can do that. It would take us a weekend to do it, probably even a, just a day. And in doing that, we come in here to the lovely kitchen. And if you've been paying attention, we actually have already painted this and painted the floors, which were just tiny little cheap band-aids, but just to make it more livable when we went through Thanksgiving and Christmas and also having big events like that, you definitely figure out where the creaks and cracks are in your spaces and what you want to do with them. So that's kind of what we've done. But anyway, in sealing that up, we can move the refrigerator over and create more counter space. And it just makes it a little bit more livable until we have the money to go on to phase two. Because again, phase two, we want to knock that down. So anyway, just wanted to show you how we come um, about making our lists in our phase one and phase two. And see, this will become part of the kitchen eventually. But until we have that, we want to make this livable and make it nice, and we can do that. So we'll probably not attack those projects for a couple of months, but when we do, I am sure I will document them. So if you have projects like this and you're depressed because you think you can't do it until you get money, you can. Just look and try to figure out what you can do on a smaller scale. It'll work.